good morning everyone in this video we are going to discuss about the differences between OBA 11G and Pulse uh, we'll come up with every point about uh, from both the uh, both of the versions we will discuss related to that so the first difference is that there is no testing or validation tool available after upgrading to 11G let's say if you if we talk about from uh, 10G to 11G after migrating into 11G there is no validation tool that uh, it will uh, whether the migration did completely correct or not uh, so that tool is not provided with the uh, OBA 11G whereas in 12C they have pro Oracle provided a uh, validation tool uh, which will uh, which will validate the entire upgradation process uh, whether it is done correctly or not and uh, second important feature is uh, in 10g in 11g so let's say if we have some data uh, in the excel sheet uh, if we want to import that data uh, directly from the front end and if we want to merge those data with with the existing report if it has the same columns then that feature is not available whatever i'm telling let's say using the external content from the Print and presentation services that feature is not present in 11g whereas in 12c that is incorporated uh, and there is uh, one more important view is added to 12c heat matrix view and uh, the biggest advantage of the heat matrix view is uh, we can accommodate a huge data uh, within a single view which will uh, give you a lot of information related to the data so that view is nothing but a heat heat matrix and one more important feature added to policy is uh, sorting and sorting is all is added to graphs pivot tables uh, pivot table views in 12c and let's say if you want to edit i mean this is not that much important but uh, as a developer uh, uh, it may be useful for the normal uh, developers so this feature is nothing but uh, when you open uh, your compound layout view let's say if you want to edit a table properties uh, then you have to click on the edit button of the table view then which in turn will open another window where uh, you can select the properties of uh, table view but whereas in 12c uh, you can directly click on that edit button which in turn will be displayed the same dialog box in the same page itself without going uh, inside the view so which will help which will save you a lot of time and uh, and one more important feature is that uh, there is no ui uh, in 12c where you can upload your rpd there is no deployment tab in the e em console i mean in the weblogic em so everything whatever you want to upload the rpd those things you have to do it from the command line property command through command line only and there is no opmn process uh, in uh, 12c and earlier we have uh, a guids uh, present in the 11g so whenever uh, if you if you are moving some files uh, if there is a problem with that file for every file there will be a guid associated in 11g whereas uh, it sometimes what will happen is uh, uh, this guid because of the guids uh, the system would not able to find the exact path or uh, some folder is missing and then uh, what we will do is we will go and refresh all the guids which are present in the OBA. then uh, then we can solve the issue Whereas in 12C, that uh, security GIDs is removed completely. And uh, SSL configuration is a bit simplified in 12C. And in uh, 11G, we have RPD file as separate and uh, catalog is separate and roles are, are present in uh, WebLogic. Uh, WebLogic or EM console, which is uh, uh, which in turn will act as your roles. Uh, whereas in 12c they have introduced one more archive file uh, to move from one environment to another environment which is bar archive uh, this ba uh, this bar bar archive file uh, will contain uh, uh, will contain rpd 
catalog and roles together so if you want to move from one environment to another environment it is easy to move the bar archive file from one environment to another environment i hope you got all the differences between oba 11g and 12c yeah um, please like my video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you for watching